All right, 1356 and 1358 North Gale. We'll go into the 56 side first. Uh, both of these units are gonna be that kind of shotgun style, one bedroom um, efficiency, et cetera, where you've got living, 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 kitchen, bath, all the way to the back and everything. Um, turnkey ready to go if you wanted to get this going. Um, the listing agent's reporting uh, rents for something like this in the neighborhood around seven twenty-five. dollars um, You know, obviously we'll verify that for you uh, if you'd like, um, but I think that's pretty doggone close, if not right on uh, for this, what might be keep this one from getting a, you know, right at the top of that obviously is the layout and the fact that there's not a true one bedroom uh, to it. It's going you know, to walk through all the spaces to get there. Um, so you're really not looking at a family or even probably roommates for something like this. Um, but it's in good condition, certainly for the age. The other idea possibly for this, um, you can see all the new fixtures and everything that are in. The other idea possibly for this is a conversion into a one bed or into a single unit. By converting it to a single unit, you could easily get this, I think, to a three, um, three, two, um, and do pretty nice. Now, I get it. It's already redone. Why would I do that? Well, the ARV on a one bedroom, I'm sorry, on a three bedroom, one unit is pretty good in this area. So, um, this is a really popular area. We're just south of the park. Uh, lots of uh, stuff going on around here. So passive income immediate on you, maybe long-term converting it into a um, single unit property. So definitely something to consider on this one. You could start drawing uh, immediate income on this um, at a likely at a positive cash flow for this with a long-term uh, view of um, income or not income of a flip over into a larger single family. Okay. Um, as you see, we've walked over into the separate unit so you can see what it all looks like. It's very similar, almost identical. Uh, the kitchen layout is a tad bit different. The eating area is a tad bit different. Laundry, etc., is in different places and everything. So, um, We'll walk, let me walk down into the basement over here as well so you can get a good sense of it. The cleanup and everything that's done, just general condition. But your capital expenditures are going to be pretty small. So really you see here just the basement, <clears throat> it's just crawl up on the front. It's the same on the other side and then just this is storage and mechanicals down here. But it's dry, it's in good condition, um, so really no uh, red flags for this. Let's run upstairs again so you can see the outside of it, get a little bit better of the neighborhood and the back, etc. There is no parking in the back, but this is one of those streets where you're allowed to park on both sides of the street, so that's okay. There's a functional alleyway, which you'll see, um, so that's good. But again, there's not a structure or uh, or anything immediately that would be conducive to parking. <coughs> so you could throw some gravel on the back here. That would definitely get you a little bit more stable parking. Or you could maintain with the street level. So again, uh, idea here is immediate income. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, immediate income as a two unit property if you wanted it and then later converting it to a single, or you could go ahead and start that process of converting it to single for a flip here and um, get your ROI. But as far as exterior is concerned, um, no real red flags on it, other than some of the vegetation that's growing down here. Um, but the roof looks to be in pretty decent condition. Foundation looks to be in decent condition. If we take a look at the neighbor here, you can see vacant lot here, distressed home here. There are several distressed, but there's also a lot of complete rehabs in the process of going on. There's one right there. There's some down the street here, and then just all of these streets up and down here um, with the park being right there. 
um, have a lot of activity going on. It's becoming really, really popular because we're also really close to downtown. Okay, let us know what you think. Thanks.